Well, welcome everyone. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Don and Nancy Carson from up in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada here. Um, looking forward to sharing our thoughts around an incredible adventure we've been on uh, for really for all of 2023 and now as we venture into 2024. And, um, you know, right before our eyes, we're seeing what we call course correction. To, that's to the benefit of the, the long-term interest players here, the ones that have really found a concept that they loved. And, and that concept is a category creator. For those of you that are new to this Zoom or any of the weekly Zooms we've been doing, the thing we talk about with Category Creator is the collectible industry. It's an industry that uh, currently is in the 400 to $500 billion range globally, which is more than all of the, let's call it the home-based business industry combined. Any company out there that does potions, lotions, travel, uh, legal, whatever you would call from a home-based business category, add it together, all the different companies, thousands of them in the world, um, the collectible industry currently does more than all of them combined. Now, with that said, it's expected to continue to grow over the next uh, seven, eight years to a trillion dollars. That's the industry that we're opening your eyes to this evening. For some of you, the first we time. We should say too, Don, that this is the only collectible in the network marketing, this is the only collectible company in the network marketing business. Well, well you know, in the network marketing. Yeah, business. and so so the term network marketing can be described describe many different things, but ultimately it's a distribution model, and I think that that's from a businessman standpoint the best way I could describe the uh, the home based business industry really can be somebody that does direct sales, somebody that goes and sells things on a, a party time, uh, does uh, group parties or does home shows. You know, they can do all kinds of things to generate cash flow. In in our industry, the network marketing industry or the home-based business industry, it's just another form of distribution. They're cutting out certain middlemen. The middleman ends up being the person out of their home that actually opens the door to whatever it is they're marketing. In our world, it's the collectible industry. So what we want to share with you tonight, first and foremost, is, you know, here's a company that has thousands and thousands of products that have been generated in a collectible space for over 40 years by our owner, Dave Jordan, and his wife out of Sioux Falls, South Dakota, in warehouses where they're now mining those, those products. We've seen it firsthand. We've toured the warehouses. We've seen the vision of where Dave wants to go with this. And just recently, we've added another element to this vision, which is to, to really answer, ask my wife this question. Nancy, when you find something that you purchase, to describe that process for you. What, and not in the collectible space, but just anything you buy, anything you bring to our home, where did it come from? Well, it's it's usually coming from a store and it usually involves me bringing in bags and hiding them in the closet and pretending like I've not made a purchase. <laughs> okay, well, that's, that's, the, that's the things you bought that you didn't really need. Right. But, right. but with the things you needed, yeah. what happened? How did you learn about them? Uh well, are you talking about groceries? No, I'm uh, talking about anything, like your favorite clothing outfits, the state favorite things you want. I would hardly put that in the need category. I mean, I think so, but, but I you know want them. You. I want them. But yeah. but how did you find those there. wants? What did you do? Uh, I guess I searched them out. I searched um different platforms online, like uh, so. Your curiosity from one platform caused you to look there. Yes. You did your own research, and then next thing you know, you liked that outfit or whatever, and that hat or that style, and and you bought it, right? Because you wanted it. Uh yes. So let's use that analogy for our industry in the home based business space. Each and every one of you may want something. Now, I mean, we'll describe for you a couple of things that we did when we were you know a lot younger in our married life there's a picture of us with our our at that time called three-year-old and our five-year-old son and our three-year-old daughter and we were at universal with the mr incredible figurines and because that was our favorite cartoon that our kids watched all of them right from the first the second the third and fourth today you know this is elastigirl so there's my my whoop, there's my wife the elastigirl that i bought off of dave's website there's mr incredible that i bought off of dave's website i wanted it these are wants, right? So I searched it out. I found it and I've added it to my personal collection because I wanted it. Back a number, number of years ago, my son was playing hockey. Um, my, the favorite hockey player at the time was Alexander Ovechkin, very early when he was like eight years old. And I bought his rookie card for $150. I mean, I never bought it because I thought it would go up in value, but today it's worth a lot more considering that he's closer to beating Wayne Gretzky's record. It was something I wanted for my son at the time. And that's back a lot of years ago. 
This was in 99. My wife bought me the actual Wayne Gretzky rookie card in a glass case. And that story is pretty unique, Nancy. How did that happen? Well, I think that the guy sold it to me just because he thought I was going to give birth right there in his uh, hobby shop. I was very <laughs> expecting. And uh, you had always said to uh, bring cash. And so uh, it was a lot easier to negotiate with the cash because I had a number in mind and he had a number in mind. And I said, OK, well, this is it. It's like Friday and I'm leaving and this is cash. Yes or no. And it was a lot easier to negotiate the deal that way. And that was my Christmas present. And then our son was. It wasn't a Christmas present. It was a present to you while I was in labor. Well, no, but the thing is our son was born on January 8th. So this was very soon before you had the baby, right? Well, so, I was in there making Yeah, that. so wh why do we tell you that? Because all these years later, it's worth a considerable more money. But at the time it was something she knew I wanted and it was a gift she gave me. And it, and it put a big smile on my face. That's the collectible industry. Now there are fans out there that wear jerseys and they have their favorite players and their favorite in the favorite sports or the favorite actors or, or, or musicians or concert t ticket things and ACDC or Kiss or whatever. All of those things are out there. Then there's movies, right? Like the Barbie movie. That, I mean, didn't the song just win the Grammy? All the Disney movies, all the Disney collectibles, all of the stuff like that. And so when you think about all of that, those are things on Dave's Collect Direct website. And it's things that people want to bring them back to the past, put a smile on their face and help them move forward in the future. Because Often in this collectible industry, people are doing this because they see value in the items. They put them in a time capsule. Many years later, like I did with my Avechkin and my Gretzky rookie, they could be worth more, no guarantee. And, and that might be what they, they do. It's an opportunity that they seek for the future. And so now let's talk about what it takes to get people to look at this industry. First and foremost, the network marketing industry or the home-based business industry does not attract all of the people out there because some people will look at it and say, well, I don't want to approach my friends with the favorite potion or lotion and say it's going to make my nose go smaller or, or you know, you're going to lose weight or your skin's going to be better. Gosh, I remember a company that I did participate in when you were 24. And I remember saying, look how beautiful her skin was. And she said, well, I'm totally 24. And people, because I said the skincare was making your well, skin. But I'm just not very good at telling people anything that isn't true. And so Don's like, Nancy uses this eye cream and look at her. She looks amazing. And I said, I look amazing because I'm young. <laughs> and so what? So when you think about this industry, you point, click and share the website. If they find something they like and they buy it, I'm not convincing them. I'm just letting opportunity seekers, fans, people find people things. People are searching for things and you're just directing them. Like yeah, you're, you really you're are. Just, you're just directing them. So as a company now, we've been in a direction of trying to figure out what will be the best thing to get people to want to participate in a money-making opportunity, want to participate in buying items from a company they can trust. Why do I say that? Because this is a, a goat of a collector who's been doing this for a long time that is being recognized around and just recently launched another company, a company called Collect Away. And Collect Away will be a vehicle for Dave to showcase his mass collection to get the viewership. Let me give you an example. Tonight in our Zoom, we've got about 90 people. And you know those 90 people may tell 10 people or something, hey, I saw something pretty cool. Well, Dave goes out and does a box break. Recently, he did a, a video and currently he's got 300 videos he's done that he plans to showcase in a platform with a marketing arm that is going to really develop who Dave Jordan is and what this collection looks like. The recent video he did, did 5,000 views in the first four days and then another 4,000 views the next day and so on. That's eyeballs and that's curiosity, which leads to referrals. Now, the, the concept that we're sharing with you tonight, the big picture is Collectrex model currently isn't perfect. So we're in a course correction phase of making it perfect. For example, I believe, because I saw it today, tomorrow you're going to see in our search collections, the, the word comic books. I saw it today. It should go live tonight. When that goes live, people can actually go to the comic book portion of our front of our Collectrex website, click on it, and it'll take it to the available comic books on our website. That's important because that's a first impression. And that's something we've worked really hard at getting correct. That's number one. Number two, the image on the front of our website currently is a baseball player. Folks, we're not just a, a card company. We're not just a baseball 
collecting company. We have, I think it's 2 million comic books. He's got all kinds of Beanie Babies, tons and tons of other things in the market, like Matchbox toys and Hot Wheels and NASCAR, like crazy uh, NASCAR items that are being added to the collectible site. So we want to create an image that's different than a baseball player, and that's happening as we speak. And that's important for the for the what we call first impression to be proper. So from an opportunity-seeking standpoint, we want those folks that come to our platform to see the big picture. Next thing, we want our compensation or the reward, what we would call a retail reward for people to buy things from our website to give them regular chances to earn regular income. In other words, more people making some money more often. And we like to look at this as a recent uh, commercial I remember seeing where a, a pizza company said, hey, you can buy this pizza and it's five bucks. And if you want another one, it's five bucks. And if you want another one, it's five bucks. And so the beautiful concept is we as network marketing or home-based business professionals or uh, opportunity seekers or people that are just looking for a fun thing to do. And this is fun. When you say Nancy, when you talk about this industry, and we've seen it firsthand, where moms and dads and kids are I've participating. I've watched Dave in the warehouse, you're like little children running around with Hot Wheels, driving them over top of boxes, yeah. and playing like little kids. Right. So, so, so it's a fun industry. So, what I'm leading to here is, can you imagine that if every time somebody bought something from our site for thirty dollars, twenty nine ninety eight, because that's our platform that we are presenting going forward. On the Collect Direct side. Now, don't get me wrong. The goal here is to have the vault attached to Dave's massive collection of priced items, of course, higher than $30. You can offer a link to that site. And if somebody buys from something from that site, yes, you will make a commission off of that purchase. And the people that are team supporters of you will actually make a override on your purchase customer's purchase. That is the process that's being worked on in the big picture of Collect Direct's world right now. It's a massive undertaking because during the first seven months of producing the code, we've now changed it to make a simple philosophy that is as simple as this. $9.98 is a membership for Collect Direct. That's a one-year membership. One time you pay $9.98. That will give you access to the office and this and the other products available that you could buy if you wanted to do trade shows, if you wanted to do uh, um, home shows, or if you wanted to do home-based business shows, whatever. There'll be other things you can purchase. But the beautiful thing is for $30 or what we call 20 BV or 20 QV volume purchase that combined out of everything you buy, you now qualify to earn commission. As long as you maintain that on a monthly basis, which means you start committing to the process of being a collector or a, a, a person that wants things you find on the website, then you're qualifying yourself. Now, there's a part of our compensation plan that is based on advancing the volume so that you can, in fact, advance and rank. I'm not going to go into details for all you brand new people. Expect major trainings on this when our comp plan document is completely edited and changed to what I'm describing tonight. But here's the basics of what you need to know. Do you think it's possible you could find a customer, maybe two, that would buy something for $30? And you would actually make $5 on the one and $5 on the other in commission in the first part of our compensation plan. So $10. And what if you had six customers or six, two members and four customers? Well, that'd be $30. So right there, you just got your original $30 back, right? That would be my first goal if I was the individual getting started here. Not going out there and spending thousands and thousands of dollars to buy a bunch of stuff you put in your garage and hope you could sell. No, buy enough of an entry point of $30 to qualify and then go find two people. One in what we call in the left team and the right team. That's it. That's all I want to share with you tonight because that's the premise of how Collectric works. After that, it's about consumers, customers, and members. And every member that you bring into your team who brings in a member or a customer, their volume and purchases will count combining for you, which at a later date you can learn about. That's the beauty of team building. So our compensation plan is based on team building rewards, 
coaching rewards, and you receiving rewards for the repeat customers. Nancy, that's the premise of how simple it is that what we do. I think the business is even simpler than that, Don. I, I think that there's very little pushback. My favorite uh, simple example was when we had lunch with Jackie, Jackie, and she said to our server, do you collect anything or do you know anyone that collects anything? And I can guarantee you that there was no pushback from that question. He wasn't concerned with what she had to say. He just said, what do you mean collect, collect anything? And she said, do you collect anything? And he says, as a matter of fact, I'm really into NASCAR. And she says, here, go check out my website. And he went and he was looking and he saw some NASCAR stuff and he was like, wow, that's really cool. And it was that simple because it was just no pushback. And she was able to do the, the postcard. And so in that particular case, she could hand her her business card, which would have had a QR code leading to her website. And that's as simple as it is. These cards can be owned or, or, or ordered on something called collectdirectcards.com. As long as you're a member, you fill in your information, it populates the QR code, you order them, they're inexpensive, they get delivered to you, and that becomes a vehicle for you to share what it is we're doing. Somebody asks, well, where do you send them to? Well, in my case, we have a username. When you sign up for Collectrec, you have to establish a username that's never been used. And, you know, if 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 the word Blue Bombers, because that's our football team, wasn't used before, you could be collectrec.com forward slash Blue Bombers. And that means now every time you sent that link out, link out and somebody typed that in or clicked on it, it would go to your website. And at the top of that website, it would say, welcome to the Blue Bombers website. And that site now pays you if they buy. That's the concept. It'll be the same with the Collect Away program with the vault where you'll be able to send people there. And if they use your link and your username, you will get rewarded. Let me just say this. The only way for people to earn any kind of commission from any of Dave's collections is going to be from a Collect Direct member. So the referral basis, the people that are going to see the big picture, which is all of the box breaks where there's, we're expecting hundreds of thousands of people watching Dave open a 1952 top set looking for a Mickey Mantle. And those people are going to be told by Dave, this broadcast was brought to you by and sponsored by my other company, Collect Direct, a company Collect that, away. no, my right. other company, Collect oh, Direct. Sorry. Yes. Uh, yes. And, and, and that I company, yes, that, that, and, and he's going to describe it like this. That's a company that like my other company where I did 400 million, I paid over $150 million in commissions and you should go check it out. That referral from those big picture eyeballs <coughs> and that curiosity is why we're course correcting in this direction. It's exciting, the opportunities there for all of you. And that's the picture folks. So I expect tomorrow you're gonna see a couple of changes to the site. Uh, it never happens quick enough, but we're in, we have no control. We can just tell you, I saw it today and I'm expecting to see some of it tonight. So watch for the changes. Get excited about the, the fact that Dave is committed to the all of you that have been here looking and learning. But I challenge you for, for, for all of the tea in China to look at the history. And I'm going to take a minute or two and just describe my own history. I started a company in 1984. In fact, I started teaching school when I started that company. 11 years later, I took a leave of absence from that job. During that 11 years of teaching, I actually had a difficult time with some relationships because I was building business and I was committed. So eventually I get into a company that I, I continued to, to build on and it took me eight years to break even. 22 years after I started it, I sold it for millions of dollars. Flash forward, I buy two companies after I sell that company. They lose me millions of dollars. But I never quit. I never never gave up. One of the companies my wife owns, I own the land. We're about to sell that for millions of dollars. But during the process of COVID, we were losing hundreds of thousands of dollars. It's a course correction and a commitment that you have to have in business. You never give up. You just see where you're going, the vision. And that's what Dave's always had, is the vision of where this will go. And so when I think about where my wife and I are now at 27 years married this summer with a beautiful 25-year-old son and a 22-year-old daughter, I mean, ask yourself during those first eight years when I was losing money and breaking even and relationships were impossible to keep going, was I going to give up on the business or was I going to find my vision and, and line up with somebody who saw it with me? And together, we've been a great benefactor of hard work. 
And that's the, the hope I get for all of you tonight is to use examples. 1995, Amazon started. You know what it started off doing? Delivering books. What are they today? The largest online retailer in the world. Netflix, what did they do? They used to just distribute DVDs. What do they do today? The, one of the largest streaming services for downloading things. Do you know that YouTube standard started as a dating service? What is it today? Billions of online videos are watched daily. Avon started selling books. Of course, it's a huge home-based business industry juggernaut today. The big picture, folks, is commitment, course correction, and being ready for success to come your way. We believe it's coming our way. We've had heart-to-hearts with Dave recently, and we know where we're going, folks, and I hope you do too. I, I hope you got some ideas of, of this video that can open your eyes to the future and the big picture. Just watch, folks, next Wednesday's Valentine's Day. We're going out for a beautiful dinner together at my wife's restaurant. So there will be no Zoom unless somebody else wants to do it on Valentine's Day. But, but I would suggest no Zoom next Wednesday. But anything you want to finish off with, Nancy, before I turn off the recording? We're just we're just excited. And, and we've been having a really uh, great time and 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 a, and a tough time like like you guys, because we want it to happen tomorrow, just like you guys. And so we're on the phone continuously with Dave and, and, and trying to get things to happen as quick as they can. But I can guarantee you in every business behind the scenes, behind the curtain in the wizard of Oz, there is things going on to make the magic happen and you can't rush it. So it's just, yeah. So, so look, I can, I can go into all kinds of questions now and, and answer different things, but the truth of the matter is, we're going to learn as we go here, folks, after you think about it, if your email address is the one that's registered that's sent over to the other company, it will be registered as a lead generator that will get rewarded to the person that sent it there. The person that sends a link to that company who goes and watches a podcast will get rewarded as a lead that comes back to you. And then eventually the leads will be put into a pool that will be actually uh, allowed to be able to be shared amongst the organizations as they grow around the globe. That's where we're at. We're in Canada, the United States and Australia and more to come on that as we go forward. So let me just do this, folks. We try to keep this about 20 minutes long for you to be able to share. We're excited about where we're going. I hope you got a kind of an idea. I'm gonna turn the recording off and then we'll open it up to some questions if you'd like. And- uh, a question that we close the chat. Yeah, no, let me just do the recording stop and then we can actually do that. So thanks for joining us tonight. I hope you got something out of tonight.